Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what is in my hospital bag. So I'm in my third trimester and I am planning another home birth. My first was a hospital birth. She was a C-section and my um, second and third were home births. So I always have a hospital bag packed just in case. And hopefully I won't have to use it. Um, I will link my hospital bag from last time. My hospital bag this time is a, has a little bit less stuff in it. I didn't end up going to the hospital last time. I've only been in the hospital once, but this is what I will take to the hospital if I have to go. First, a hairbrush. That is very important. I also have a few toiletries. I have some lotion, hair ties, nail clippers for me and the baby and chapstick i like to keep those in a little bag have a toothbrush and i can grab some toothpaste if we happen to go to the hospital or the hospital will have toothpaste for me i have my earbuds and a phone charger and a way to charge my earbuds so when you're in the hospital there's a lot of downtime so i like to watch TV or listen to books on tape. Um, so having my earbuds really helps. What I have for baby in here, I only have a few things for baby. I have one onesie and <coughs> pants, and I have one pajama. My babies don't tend to wear a lot of clothes for the first few weeks because we do a lot of skin to skin. So these would just be for uh, going home. If we happen to be in the hospital, baby would need clothes to go home. And then I have a swaddle blanket because it's so much nicer to have your own blankets. So that's all I have for baby. Uh, I do cloth diaper and all of my cloth diapering stuff is in one specific location. So if we happen to go to the hospital, I will just grab a bunch of cloth diapering stuff and throw it in the bag. If I forget, it's not a huge deal because the hospital will provide diapers and wipes. So I'm not gonna pack any of those. Um, I will try and grab the cloth diapering supplies if I happen to go to the hospital, but if not, the hospital will have um, diapers and wipes. What else I have for in my diaper bag, this is for me now. I have a comfortable dress that I can wear just around the hospital room. I have a more modest one so that when family comes to visit or anybody who happens to come to visit, um, that I'm a little bit more covered. I have one pair of pants. They're yoga pants and they are nice and stretchy. These have made it through all of my pregnancies. Um, they're very stretchy. In case I have to have a c-section, my first was a c-section, this will, these pants work really well. They don't put any pressure on my scar, uh, which would be a fresh incision, and they go up pretty high, so I would feel really supported without feeling squished, because when I was in the hospital with my c-section, I didn't pack clothes for a c-section, and so I really didn't have any pants to wear. <coughs> Excuse me. I also have a bra, a nursing sleep bra, and that is it. I don't have any socks. The hospital will provide socks. I don't have um, a hospital gown. I packed it with my first and I never used it. There really was no need for it. And if I'm laboring, I should be able to labor in whatever clothing I'd like. And if I'm having a C-section, they probably wouldn't let me use my own gown anyways. A lot of times you want your own gown for pictures, but after you give birth, there's not really any reason to continue to have an IV unless there are complications. So my dresses should work just fine. And I only packed two because I only plan on being in the hospital for a day at most if I happen to go to the hospital. Um, we do have four other children, so my husband won't have the luxury of staying with me the entire time if I do happen to go to the hospital. 
So when he comes back to visit, I can have him bring whatever else I need. I had an entire suitcase the first time I went to the hospital to give birth to my first baby that happened to be a c-section and I had a birth ball and I had all of these things um, I literally had a suitcase so I have pared it down to not a ton of items because you really don't need that much and they all fit in this bag so I can easily grab this bag and if I feel like I need anything else then I can easily grab it and toss it in because there's plenty of space in this bag. The other thing that I will grab is a nursing pillow. That's really nice to have your own nursing pillow. The pillows are not super comfortable at the hospital and they're really not meant for nursing. So to have a, your own nursing pillow is really great. Um, if you're a first time mom, I would also put in some breast pads, nursing pads. I don't tend to leak very much. With my last two babies, I didn't leak a lot, so I'm not going to have any, any nursing pads. Um, if I happen to need them, the hospital does have samples. They are disposable. I tend to use reusable nursing pads, but those are something I could easily throw in here if I needed to. Um, the hospital will provide you with towels and shampoo and conditioner if you need it. Um, Blankets and pillows are nice to have from your house. If you're planning on staying in the hospital for more than a day, I might end up grabbing one or two of those on the way to the hospital if we go, but that's not something I'm going to pack at the moment. Um, makeup isn't really something that I used <laughs> when I was in the hospital the first time, so I'm not going to pack that. I packed my hair straighteners and my hair dryer and all of that fun stuff. Um, and I didn't end up using it, so I'm not packing that either. And those are a lot of day-to-day -day items that I use. So if those are things that are important to you, I would have a list of the things that you need to grab on your way to the hospital. But those aren't things you really wanna pack in the bag because you use them every day and you don't know when baby's going to arrive. So I, I will bring my phone and my iPad as well, but again, those are kind of daily use items. So I will not pack those in my bag. So that is what is in my hospital bag. If you like to dress your baby more than I do, then you might want to um, have your own bag for baby. A few changes of clothes, some cloth diapers, socks, pajamas, swaddle blankets. But just remember, the hospital will have a lot of what you, you need. Um, I'm not gonna pack a water bottle because they, they give you a big jug of water and they refill it constantly, which is awesome. I wish that happened at home. Uh, so you really don't need a ton of items to go to the hospital. You need whatever it is that you specifically need to be comfortable. For me, the, the gowns, the dresses that I can nurse in, and in case I have a C-section, still be comfortable in, those are my big priority. So I have two of those. I didn't put any shirts in because I don't need any shirts, I will just wear the gowns and the pants when I go home. And um, yeah, that is all that is in my hospital bag. It's nice and light, easy to grab. I can leave it in the car, I have it by the door, and I will grab a nursing pillow on my way to the hospital if we end up going. I also am very minimally packing because I'm hoping that I don't ever go to the hospital and I don't want all of the things that I actually wanna use to be in the bag when I need them here at home. So my hospital bag is very small, but it is sufficient.